Welcome ladles and jelly spoons to Kai Mathy's YouTube channel and my 2021 Vida challenge. Every day this week I'll be uploading a retro video game fact. Today we're looking at Crazy Taxi, a series of score attack racing video games that was developed by Hitmaker and published by Sega. The first game appeared in arcades in 1999 and was very successful, prompting Sega to port the arcade version to their Dreamcast consoles in 2000. The iconic soundtrack features songs by The Offspring and Bad Religion that were released in the late 90s, helping to fit into the totally radical and punk-like nature of the game. However, what really cements the game, or at least its original 1999 release and later 6th generation console port, as a product of the late 90s, is the inclusion of product placement. For instance, Tower Records, which went out of business in 2006 as well as Amoco, which was largely rebranded as BP a few years after, although the name has been brought back. Not to mention the prevalence of the classic Red Roof Pizza Huts. Many locations are now just takeaway only, and the Red Roof locations have often been remodelled or repainted. Later re-releases of the game removed the product placement, but the 90s attitude still remains mostly the same. 